morning to you, baby! What's going on? Summer of 58, what do you know about that? I don't know anything about this. From the same people that made that previous game that we played, um... I just finished playing it. September 7th! <laughs> We're in the summer of 58 now, which came out before September 7th. Um, I don't know if they're connected at all, but I'm excited to keep this horror train rolling. Sometimes people make up things that aren't there. It seems to them that some entity controls their mind and their life. They do terrible things that can drive you crazy. I don't believe in paranormal phenomena. I believe that the troubles that people commit are their own fault or those who brought them to this. And in order for you to believe your eyes are not fictions, I made revealing videos about paranormal phenomena in two houses in which, according to people's stories, madness was happening. My name is Alex Morton, and we're getting started. Okay, Alex. I'm into it. What is this, Stranger Things? Whoa. What did you catch on video, Alex? Is there gonna be some orbs? Okay, Just some swear words on the wall and a pentagram on the ground, that's fine. Hate. Okay, oh my god, it looks like the little elf from the last one. Oh, it's gonna get spooky, Alex! Watch out! This is epic! Imagine this is the whole game. I searched all the corners, but I didn't find any evidence confirming paranormal activity in these houses. Now I'm going to an abandoned pioneer camp in Russia at the request of my subscribers to find out if the rumors that the locals have been talking about for so long. They say that there are ghosts of dead people in this place, at the hands of one of the residents. He himself was never found. The bodies of those people were also not found. Local residents avoid this place, and those who were touched by this tragedy do not allow to open the doors of this building in memory of the dead and missing. I came to Russia to investigate what happened, to find out if the rumors are true, and to find evidence of this. In keeping with my tradition, I closed the doors of the building behind me so that there is no temptation to leave it, and I'm staying here for a few nights, recording a report. I have a video camera, a sleeping bag, a backpack with things, and food with me. God, don't put huge clumps of dialogue on screen that I need to read through in a timed manner. I don't get to click when this goes away. So it's just anxiety inducing knowing that I have to read this fast enough. And I read it so fast that I didn't actually take in anything that you said. Pioneer Cab, you lost. Ooh, I like the look of this one. I'm a sucker for like abandoned buildings. Oh my god, those are not an actual exterior. That's just a giant picture outside. Nice. No flashlight this time, no lighter. This looks great. Whoops, broke my foot. There you go, one at a time there, Alex. Nice, good job. Don't step in the nails, though. Unless you have a tetanus shot handy. Anything in here? Okay, cool. I bet this place smells great. Folks, it has come that time, once again, that we have to talk about our lord and savior, NordVPN. NordVPN is a way for you to be able to browse the internet not only safely, but sometimes in places that you normally can't access. For example, every time we want to watch a movie here, me and Evelyn, we sit down, we love watching movies and TV shows, and sometimes we go online and the movie's not available to play here in the UK, so I just fire up NordVPN, boom boom, couple of clicks, I'm in America, and then we were able to get it there and we just cast it to our TV that way. It makes it so easy to be able to access content that we normally can't access. So I've been using it for a very long time. Something that I learned recently from Nord that I didn't know before is that you can actually save more money if you're traveling. Because if you, uh, if you set your location to be the destination that you're going to be before you go and you book some stuff ahead of yourself, that means that you'll be able to get it at better prices than you would if you did it from your own network. Just an as, an, as an example here, they said people coming from America, if they set their IP to London before they went with Nord, they saved 46% on car rental. 
because doing it from the US meant that it was more expensive. They also have stuff like NordPass, which is a password manager that you can use. They also have NordLocker, which is a encrypted cloud storage that you can use. We live in a day and age where digital stuff is very precious to us. And it's very important to keep that stuff under lock and key, to keep it battened down, that you don't want anyone getting your information. It scares me all the time as someone who does a lot of their stuff online. It's nice to have systems in place that can actually keep, <laughs> keep bad actors out, you know? <laughs> so go, try it out for yourself. Down in the description, nordvpn.com slash jacksepticeye to get two years plus four extra months. Go try it out for yourselves. Thank you, Nord. Hello? Anybody? Oh, it's just... Did someone feed the cats here? <gasps> More cats? I hear a cat. Oh! Cats upstairs! Or on top! <laughs> Not upstairs. It's upstairs for them! Okay, I hear a train. These are the same assets from the last game. Which is totally fine. I'm just pointing it out. This is very impressive looking though. What is happening? Yoo-hoo! Ghosty poo! Anybody want to help a guy out? Like, do some stuff on camera. Right now. It'll save me so much time. Hey! You moved! That's enough proof for me. I can't read what it says. I need to get my Russian English dictionary. Okay. <laughs> Wait, is that like a mechanic that we're doing, or do we just never get to find out what that says? Wait, how did I get in here? Everything's all boarded up. D did I come in here and then board up all the doors myself? Okay. Seems like somebody's here with me. The cats don't seem bothered, though. It's when the cats start freaking out that I start freaking out. They can hear and smell and see things that I can't. So if they're chill, I'm chill. I can't read what it says. I need my Russian English dictionary. Okay. Get, then get it. Where is it? Do you, do you, oops. Do you have it on you? Whip it out. Hit it on a telephone. That's creepy. Is that paranormal activity? Can I go home now? Ho ho ho! I'd say that that's enough evidence. Like I came in and out of this room, that doll moved, and now that ball moved on its own. There's no one in here. Maybe I should do it like a YouTuber. What's up guys? I'm in an abandoned house in Russia and weird stuff is happening. Whoa! The cats are freaking out! Time to panic! It'll be dark soon. Need to look for candles. Wait, what happened? Okay, I got candles. Those are not the sounds you want to be hearing. Is it nuclear? Is it weather? Tornadoes? Siren head? Oh, remember Siren Head? Remember how we were all obsessed with Siren Head for a while? It was the summer of 58. Whoa, yeah! A video camera. Ooh, yes! Russian English Dictionary. Were they here the whole time? I was translating some Russian books in college, and I took a Russian English dictionary with me to help with the translation. Yes, dude, we're out last now. Okay, what does stuff say? Oh, and there's a lighter. <laughs> nice! The doll's gone. There are legends that there was an orphanage near this camp, and there lived a strange girl who was afraid of water. She had rabies. <laughs> She did not wash and did not go to the river. That's just every kid. Every kid hates water and showers. 
One day the older girls decided to laugh at her, tied her hands and poured water over her. She was very scared and ran away. They couldn't find her for many days and they decided that she was dead. Cool. Good jump to conclusion. But one night, she came back in her pajamas, all wet, and killed everyone who bullied her. After that, her spirit appeared in the bathrooms on a full moon. I think that's fair. You tie up my hands, cover me in water, and then presume I'm dead immediately? I'm coming back to murder all of you. Okay, let me read stuff before we move on into nighttime. Uh, where was stuff to read? In 1958, shout out towards the end of summer, that's the game! Parents called the camp to find out if everything was all right with their children, but no one answered. When they arrived at the camp, they found no one, only abandoned things and a mess. All the locals helped in the search for the missing children, but all in vain. The kids have gone missing. But also there's gas masks everywhere, so... Maybe a chemical attack. All right. Let's light some candles. Let's get a party going. A seance. I can light the candles now. Cozy. What up, subscriber gang? I can spread out my sleeping bags. Done. Need to prepare for the night. Dude, you got food on you? Like snacks? Night number one. Ooh, five nights at this place. Dude, you cut off the start of your end. Oh, nice. Not up to sleep. Okay, I can't use my night vision anymore. Oh, this is so much worse in the dark. Oh, no. It's making sounds in here. Oh, it's a dead bird. It's lots of dead birds. Ew! I don't want that. It's disgusting. That's gross. Stop it. Get some help. Uh, hey, ghosts. What up? Um, it's me, ya boy. Um... Don't haunt me. Oh, no, don't haunt me. Oh. Oh, what's that? My shirt's come off? Oh, don't haunt me, please. All right, ghosts aren't horny. Got it. Come in. Oh, don't come in. You who? I can't read what it says in my Russian English dictionary. Where did you put it? Where did you put it down? Just keep it on you. You need to pick up a small mirror and stand in front of a large one to make a corridor. Say three times, barefoot lady, show me my fate, and I will give my shoes in return. Give my feckin' shoes to a ghost lady. I need these, they're expensive. An investigation is underway in the disappearance of children and employees of the Yunost Pioneer Camp, which was opened in 1955, under the leadership of director Maria Anatolevna A. The suspect in this case is a child living in this camp. The name is Yakov. Evidence of the victims was found in his locker. What happened to him and where is he now is not known. Oh, Yakov. Do I need a fuse? What else can I interact with? Ew. Ew. I don't like your slurpy weird noises. I don't care what you're eating. Hey, what's up, doll? Okay, I need a small mirror. I need to start making hallways. Small mirror anywhere around here? Hello? Small mirror? Hello? I don't have a... Can't get me with that. That's the oldest trick in the book. Birds are gone. Dude, I'm just saying right now, me controlling you walking around this place is terrible footage for your paranormal video. 
So those are all the dead people. Sorry, missing. They're dead. Come on, let's jump to that conclusion. The person in Who's there? Ghost? Show yourself! Hey, you're moving around. God, these kids. Even ghost kids are as annoying as real kids. Just running in and out and all about, like... Are you in or are you out? Make up your mind. Okay, we're in. He's gone again. Someone needs an inhaler. Come on, bruh! <laughs> Don't do that! Don't just have a butt! You can startle anybody with that! Hey! Okay, now we're talking. Why do you look like a character from PUBG or DayZ or something? Did I just get bombed? Who's out here bonking in the middle of the woods? In a haunted house. Oh my god, my head. I done got bonked on. I got the horny bonk to jail. How did I get here? I don't know, do you have 90 minutes? But this is a different area. Cool. What a pidge? Who's feeding you? Can't translate any of this anyway. I need my English to Russian dictionary. Russian to English. Whatever. Hiya! Wait, you can't kick these down? You kick down the other ones. My video camera. I can't read what it says. Uh-huh. Luckily for you, the dictionary's right next to it. Just keep that... <sighs> to you, too. You're not welcome here. Well, I'm... So glad I picked up my dictionary to find out that people are just assholes. The one who hit me on the head took the candles. I have to figure out what's going on here. Candle thief! Stop that! God, it's just a bunch of douchebags! Although, if I was a ghost and I had nothing else to do in an eternal afterlife, I'd probably mess around with people as well. Probably go up behind them and like, start petting their ears. Make them freak out. Hello, lost child! Uh-huh, uh-huh. Can I kick these down yet? Now I can. I'm coming, child! Don't you worry! hi -ya! Oh, there was a... Uh-oh. I was gonna say there was a cat on that a second ago. That's not a dead cat, is it? Holy shit! Oh, this is way too big to be a cat. Need to look. Need to look this room. Be clean, neat, pioneer. Show an example and everything. Huh? Okay, ghosts. Excuse me, I'm reading. The director of the pioneer camp, Yunost, Maria Anatolevna, uh, disappeared like the rest of the camp workers. Maria had previously taken care of children in an orphanage from 1944 to 1950. She was a caregiver who devoted herself only to work. Discipline was the most important to her, so the parents entrusted their children to her. That was a bad move. Bad move on the parents' front. Those kids? Dead. Dunzo. Why haven't you finished looking around this room? What else is there to find? 
Dead birds? Could I interest you in a staph infection? I don't know what else we're supposed to find. Can I interact with this? Dude, I can't do anything. What do you want from me? Oh. It doesn't work. Need to find the fuse. <gasps> I haven't finished looking around this room. Ah, is the fuse in here? I'm about to blow a fuse in my head. Ah. That's pointless. <laughs> la 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 la. Ah, I can go behind. Look at me go! I'll take the box with me. If something goes wrong at night, then I use the light bulbs for lighting. Smart. Look at you, Captain Brain. Here I go again with my box. A familiar face! We meet again, ghosty goo! Where'd you go? Looks like you're the one who's scared. I, on the other hand, I'm fine. That smell of shit that you're smelling is not me. That was here when I got here. Where do I put this box? Okay, time to fuse it up. I could also put it in here. Yeah, that's where it's supposed to go. That's where it's supposed to go. Also, you don't think you have enough footage for paranormal activity yet? You kidding me? hi -ya! Yes! Power is ours! Shut up. I'm here for the ambiance. That is an unfortunate hand gesture you're doing there, child. Do not hit the child. Okay. You got it. I've never hit a child, even when I was one. Late at night, when people fall asleep. No need for fun, and no need for a fool. And the bells are empty, and the eyes are full of bitterness. What are you talking about? <laughs> the courtiers do not know what that fun means to the fool. The fool decides that enough is enough. And he, that night, wearing a sad suit, <laughs> poisons the court and the king. I'm sad at heart, but the plan is not a failure. The fool will no longer be fun for you. <laughs> Oh, I'm waking up and putting on my sad suit today. Sorry, guys. I've got the sad suit on. Do ghosts like electricity? Where'd the singing child go? I want them back. I need to go to bed. It'll be dark soon. Yeah, but I have lights. I have power. It's not going to be dark in here. It's fine. I'm sure the power won't ever go off again. I'm sure once it's on, we're totally fine. I can survive night two. This is simple. Nothing scary when I've got my trusty English Russian dictionary. Do I? Okay, I need to pick up stuff again. Okay, where's my dictionary? I can't go anywhere without my dictionary. Never mind, I have it on me. That's fine, no problem. Look at that. Power to the people and to this building. La 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 la. Why are you knocking? I'm the one that wants to come in. I should be knocking. Who did that? Oh my god. I'm beginning to think it's not ghosts, it's just children playing pranks on me. There's just like five children in this building and they're all running around making a fool out of me. She was gone like the wind! God damn, is she on rollers blades or something? 
I don't like that sound. Oh. 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 Hi! I get bunked on the head again. Wow! What is that? Wow! Do it again, do it again! Come on! That's why we're here for the scares! This box wasn't here before. Dude, a lot of stuff is happening. It's locked. It would be interesting to know what's inside. Sure would. Why don't we just start smashing it? Wow, look at that fence! Now that's a fence! I'm hearing the breath The breathies again! Oh, I knew they'd break my light! There are spare light bulbs in the box. They're just gonna break those two. You're fighting an uphill battle here, Alex. Oh, my box! Somebody tore the corner of it. Guys, I just want to document stuff, and you guys are being really mean. Like, you're doing stuff that I don't want you to be doing. I just want to have a good time. Like, if you're going to do it, at least do it on camera. It's just, it's just mean what you guys are doing. I, I've been trying my best. I've been a YouTuber for two weeks. I'm really trying to get pump the numbers up, you know, rise and grind. But it's hard when it goes to stealing my stuff. They're stealing my stuff and they're breaking my lights. And they tore the corner of my box. What else am I supposed to do? Oh, my dad's gonna be mad at me. <laughs> I actually made myself cry. <laughs> Anyway, moving on. You ghosts can't scare me. I've already scared myself. Hey, just con 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 conveniently pissing in the sink. <coughs> Stop that. Whose weird doll is this? What is this box? No, what is this doll? This developer has... Ugh. Ugh, it's drippies. Oh, that was more than drippies. <laughs> that was a scare and a half. Oh, freaky little doll. Where are you? Where'd you go? <laughs> oh, I didn't think you would actually do that. Oh, now I have pissed thine self. Damn, it's all kicking off in the summer of 58, baby. Come here! Come here, you freaky little doll child. You little bunny rabbit bitch! Where are you? Where are you breathing? Shut up! Shut up! Okay, we'll find a way inside, don't you worry. I just gotta think outside the box, if you will. It's just hard to concentrate when people are always like <sighs> Excuse me Ghosts Have any of you seen Some keys? Wait, I can't pick up these light bulbs to fix this? Well, what kind of baloney is that? Take one of these, smash the box What is that? Map? Tour map? There, a hammer and nails. That'll get into that box. And if it doesn't, then we have bigger problems. Dude, what even was that? I don't even know what's happening half the time. You're just shaking my head and deafening my ears. But I heard a noise in here. I heard something moving. Can I go in here yet? Fine. 
Finish up whatever you're doing in there. Uh oh, the door locked. I'm just gonna hide in the corner. You suck! Can't scare me! Uh, What's going on? What's going on? Come on! Come at me! Come at me! What you got? Oh, man! Wait, did you open the box? Then what's the point? What did you knock down? What did you do? You're just making a mess and noise. There we go. Jesus. Jeepers. This is scary. It's so angry. It's so violent. Just calm down, all right? Who's scurrying around? I'll find you. I didn't even know I could come back here. Okay, a little merry-go-round. Get out of the vents, you little weirdos! What kind of ghosts hide in vents? Can't you go through walls? Man, it must suck to be a ghost if you'd still have to live by human means. Ah, that's key. With this key, I can open the box. From 1950, a loud scandal in an orphanage for orphans. <laughs> oh, I thought it was an orphanage for people who had parents. I didn't realize it was for orphans. <laughs> the nurse cruelly mocked the residents. One of the employees reported violations of authority. A decision is made to close the institution. We remind you that the shelter was open since 1944. Children who were left without parents during the war lived here. Lived there. Oh, are children without parents orphans? So they'd probably go to the orphanage then, right? It's like it's a baby hospital for babies. Okay, here we go. What's in the box? Dear Diary, today is the annual opening day of my camp. I have been preparing for this for three years. So that this summer will be special for me. <laughs> Dear Diary, this summer is going to be the best summer ever. During these days, I will bring up real people in them. Oh. I thought I was in control of it. The Knight of 58. Oh! Was that the Knight of 58? Or is this the 58th night that I've been here? Flashlight. Oh, cool! Okay, now you got me. Now I'm really into it. The doctors make the wrong diagnosis for Ivan. He needs a heart transplant. Only this will help him. I no longer have the strength to fight with the doctors. We decided not to contact them again. I will heal my son myself, no matter what it takes. I don't know, a heart transplant isn't something that you can just like kombucha your way through. This looks awesome. Oh, it's so much nicer since, since the ghosts. Ah, <laughs> oh, I still weigh zero. Tight. The ghosts made a mess of this place. It's so much nicer without them. What did I just say? What did I just say? Ah, oh, man. Anna, we need to run. It's all because of the director. I was spying on her. She was talking to someone about something bad. You have to believe me. Warn everyone. We don't have much time until I hid her key in the closet. We can make it. Help me. That is the vaguest message you could give somebody. We need to run. It's all because of the director. I was spying on her and she was talking to someone about something. It was terrible. We need to get out of here. There's a key in the closet though, apparently. Wait, is there already ghosts here? Do 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 The key to the safe. 
Wait, where's the safe? You filthy child. <laughs> That's what I'm saying! You can't save them. Are they hiding from me? Because I'm about to... I'm about to turn some pre-ghosts into some ghosts. That's what people are. You're just a pre-ghost. Excuse me, chair. Yakov Parasit stole the second gas cylinder. I need to spray sleeping gas so that all the children can be transferred to the hospital for surgery and then returned back. I don't think I'm a good person. A special boy, Yakov, came to the camp. He has no parents or relatives. And he became my favorite- Oh, the, the orphan came to the orphanage? Because he's so similar to my son Ivan, I really want to see him. Yakov is a good boy, although he does not speak, but he understands everything and he does everything I ask. In the afternoon, I had to meet with Alexei uh, at the shelter where they used to work. He ordered to fulfill our agreement tonight. This day has come. Yakov will help me with this. Before going to bed, children always invent horror stories while the counselors put them to bed. This can distract them. Ah, yes. That's why there was gas masks everywhere, because I literally killed them all with gas. <laughs> We worked together with Alexei in an orphanage. Then I acted carelessly and I received a complaint. The director had to close the shelter. I was suspended from medical work. Now I'll not make such a mistake because only he knows about our agreement. I must continue to find people for him to collect their kidneys and Alexei will help to perform a heart transplant operation for Ivan. I'm gonna collect kidneys to do a heart transplant? I assume you're planning on stealing a heart at the same time, or are you just using the money from selling kidneys to... Just like, takes kidneys out of kids and is like, this'll cure your heart. I'll set up an accident and no one will look for him. The filter's missing and the glass is broken. Well, that's a terrible mask. You ruined my gas mask. He doesn't want you to kill everybody. It's pretty reasonable, don't you think? Need to put the gas cylinder under the door and go back to the classroom. That is so messed up. Ah, uh, the second cylinder is in here. Hi! Hi! No, this wasn't me! This wasn't me! I didn't do this! Can I have your mask? Oh, God, I'm getting dizzy. Oh, God, we're getting dizzy! Close the safe! He doesn't know, he doesn't have the key. I don't want him to steal my... nothing. <laughs> Damn. Maybe that's why everyone's breathing so heavily in here then. You don't have asthma, you have lung damage. <gasps> okay, you're breathing. Oh, thank God. Oh, they slid out a note. You were told, crossed out, to get out of here. Leave this place alone. I- I feel like I should. There are empty pages left in Maria's diary. You can use them to answer. I hear him standing outside the door. What am I writing? <laughs> no! You're ugly and you have no maidens. I know what happened here. Let me help you tell me who are you. There you go. I'm sure that'll calm the ghosts down. They won't attack me now. Yellow? Ugh. Oh, come on. It was finally nice to think that I had somebody to talk to. Did you leave another note? Excuse you, I'm having a conversation. Should try writing the letter again. I read that people were killed here. Did you do that? Tell me and then I can help you. I'll give you some money. Ghosts love money, right? I was scared and I didn't know it would end there. I trusted her, my friend Anna. I'm sorry for not being able to stop this. 
Come on, right back. I've never talked to a ghost before. I was accused, but I didn't do it. Get out of here. Hold on, there's a child. Ah, oh, I looked away at the wrong time. Excuse me. What, 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 why, what? I didn't see anything. Let's try writing another one. Dearest person behind the door. Is your name Yakov? Have you been living here for many years? Who's knocking about the place? Hey, come on, I'm busy! I'm making sounds and I'm trying to have a conversation. God, kids! Am I right? Slink! My god. Stop stomping around the house! I work nights! Yes. Here I can communicate with my friends. We guard this place because it is our home. A lot of people came here just to break our things, but my friends helped me to drive away strangers. I'm afraid that someone will see me and tell me that I live here and those people will come for me. Yes? Oh, your little doll is here. Who are you, doll? Who are your friends? What are they? Oh god, can we speed up this conversation a little? We'll be here all day trying to talk with a ghost. The spirits of this place, those who were tortured here, they remained locked up here. That day in the evening after lights out, someone came. Probably it was the person with whom the director spoke. He didn't find me. I think that because of this, he poisoned all the residents and the director. <laughs> Neat! Okay, that's whatever. I'm just- I'm too busy writing. I'm in the zone right now. All this was planned by the director of the camp? What are you talking about? What kind of person was she talking to? I have very nice handwriting. Hi, child! Okay, that's not that scary. Just knocking on a window and then running away? Most kids do that. Okay, here you go. Watch out for the kid out the window, though! It's all her. I saw our director talking to someone in an old hospital near the camp. They agreed that they would do their work at night. Then I realized that it was connected with us, but I couldn't warn everyone. I didn't see who else was there because I was scared and hid. In the morning, I went into the building and found no one. Her safe was also not there. I thought that the man and his assistants had taken everyone away and hidden the bodies in that building. I had to stay here and live in the ventilation, only sometimes go to the rooms. Are you still alive? This is riveting gameplay. That building abandoned, can I get there? Oh, Yakov doesn't answer anymore. It's time to go to the abandoned hospital. Need to tear the boards off the front door. Oh yeah, baby, let's get out of here and go to probably a worse place. Yeah. Yank him! I still have no idea how I got into this building. Apparently I just teleported in. Night number three. So we're just going to be at the abandoned place now? I'm excited. Need my dictionary ah. with me. I just got here! Did I do that? <laughs> okay, all chained up. All chained up. Come on! Nothing's bloody open here. Oh, it's ominous though. You guys hear that ominousness? I just came here. I need to find proof. I'm trying, man. I, 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 look, guys, I want to be scared. I want to progress. I want to do the things that you're doing to me. Whoa! Okay. 
1946, after the war, dozens of children ended up in shelters after losing their parents. An orphanage for the maintenance and upbringing of orphans worked under the leadership of the military! What is happening? Stop it! Why am I here? I want to go home! No YouTube channel is worth this! There we go! Thank you. I just need proof. All the things I got so far apparently is not proof of anything. The doctor of the orphanage was detained for illegal organ trafficking for six years. He fraudulently made incorrect diagnoses and performed operations to remove the kidney. The director did not know about this, but he could not continue to lead his position. The orphanage was closed, the building became abandoned. Seems like that's your proof. Just... Newspapers. Still leads to another corridor. I have an angle grinder with me in my backpack. I can cut all the chains and find where the evidence is hidden. You... Were they naked? Seems like they were naked. So calm down. You had an angle grinder in your backpack all this time. Why do you have an angle grinder? This place won't let me go. I have to finish what I started. Okay. <laughs> okay, that ghost hates angle grinders. Ah, the door's gone. What am I gonna do now? Angle grind, baby! Woo! Nice! Dude, an angle grinder? I can like... I can angle grind the world! This one guy with an angle grinder can overthrow society. What is in this one? Uh-huh. And then what happened? Guys, please. Guys? Guys, I'm trying to read. I can't read with all these distractions. Guys? Can you chill out? I don't know if I'll make it to the morning, because today's shift is bothering me. I want to run away from here, but I, then I won't get paid. I hear voices as if I'm not alone. I thought I saw a woman, more like her silhouette or shadow. She went into the closet. I'm afraid to follow her and move the closet. I don't want to check if it's true. Just tip the closet over onto the door so they can't get out. I don't want to check if it's true, or maybe it's just my imagination which is sharpened after a glass of vodka. On the cabinet weigh some products made of feathers and cobwebs. I don't know if they weigh much. <laughs> I've never seen them anywhere. They look terrible and it smells of dead things from there. Okay, I'll have another glass and go to bed until morning. It's nothing a bit of vodka can't cure. Oh, it's a baby in a sink. How very PT of you. All right. Stay back. I have an angle grinder. And I'm not afraid to grind it. That's what I really meant by rise and grind. Uh, guys? We talked about- Guys? Some peace and quiet! I know what I'm doing is wrong, but I have no choice. I have to save my son, Ivan. I was lucky that Alexei agreed to help. I mustn't let him down. No one should know about our affairs. No, I'm not avoiding his surname just because I can't pronounce it. That's silly. Sergeyevich. <laughs> yeah. See, I can say it. Sergeyevich. Again, I'm the one who should be knocking. Here. Feel my angle grinder. You like that? You scared now? I'll make you a double ghost with this thing. It's just a little doll. Can't be scared of that thing. It comes running at you. Ah! Super scary. What do you do? Just, just kick it. This place is cool though. I like the atmosphere in here. Can I get through anywhere? A lot. Let me just plod my way around. Plop, plop, plop. I didn't have time to save him. I don't believe it. This can't be happening. This is not my Vanetchka. I'll save him. I need to find a donor urgently. How far would you go to get a heart for your child? Uh oh. I almost got locked in.
Oh, I thought the room repeated itself for some reason. Can I go now? I think I got proof. Maybe. Whoa! Okay! Oh my god! That put the fear of our lord in me. Oh, he can't be doing that. Is this one of those scenarios where I just walk back and forth until the hallway gets smaller? Nope. Figured it out. Damn child. There's there's a there's a lot happening. There's a lot happening. That that was an onslaught of happenings. A year later, after the events of 1950, the building was reclassified as a hospital, but with budget cuts, it stopped working again. Seems like I don't really need a whole lot of proof of stuff. It seems like the news already got it covered. For a while. Secret room! I absolutely should not be going in there. This is the end of the movie where you go to the place you're not supposed to be in and then you die. Yep. Yeah. This is terrible for me. This is awful. Why would anybody want to be here? How had her body not decomposed after all these years? Cause she's a witch, duh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let the one who finds me feel the pain of a mother who's lost her child. I curse everyone who couldn't help me and I'm going back to just leave it all back. Where'd you go? Death certificate. Ah, finally. Proof. Here are the documents from 1958. Alexei, about whom Maria spoke, replied to her and he would no longer participate in this or refuse to work with her. Then what was the case in question? And who was she talking to when Yakov saw her? There's something else. The death certificate document. This is her son Ivan. He died in the fall of 1950. Apparently she couldn't stand it and went crazy. She wanted to save him so badly that she lost touch with reality. Poor woman. Poor woman? She'd kill a bunch of people? This is what therapy is for! This is what support groups are for! Grieving circles! Oh man, I'm just walking in circles over the bones of everybody. Sorry, 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 it's not my intent, sorry. At least she brought the safe with her. Can I get out? Oh. I gotta get a batwing knife. Whoa! <clears throat> I mean, cool. Need to get out of here as soon as possible. All right, we're sprinting. Yep. Uh-huh. Great. Cool. Can't go anywhere. Okay, this is moved. All right, anybody else gonna run at me? Come on, now's your chance. If you're gonna do it, do it now. Come on. Uh, don't open that slowly. Three weeks later, we survived. I brought it to the police and they were like, who cares? This happened in 1950. <laughs> and I was like, you're right, but look at my sick YouTube series that I got out of it. Why am I back here? Take this, burn it. Burn it and everything else here to the fucking ground, bitch. Ah, nostalgia. You guys remember when we were here and I was like, what's in there? What's in there? Hello, Yakov. You no longer need to be afraid that you will be found and accused of something that you did not do. I've taken care of everything. I didn't tell anyone you live here with your friends. Protect this place further now. It is rightfully only your home. Your friend, Alex Morton. We saved the world here today, guys. 
I'm glad that this investigation turned out to be so interesting and unique. I managed to solve the mystery of 58 and help Yakov find peace and freedom. You can read about this in my blog, but we need to move on. I'm going to find another place with a terrible history where witches used to live. And there, I will have an unusual case. I will tell you about it later. There's going to be a headline at some point that Alex Morton has died in an abandoned building because he fucked around and found out. YouTubers, man. Always sticking their noses where they don't belong. But you did get some pretty sick footage, Alex. I'm not going to deny that. You did get a sick Netflix documentary out of it. Was this... So this wasn't connected to the other one then. Um... Oh, is this the witch place? That looks cool too. I want to go there. But I also don't want to die. That was fun. It wasn't as good as the other one. Um, September 7th, they definitely perfected their formula a bit more and made it more enthralling and a bit more engaging. Um, this one was a lot of like walk back and forth and I don't know if I'm actually making progress or I have to wait for the game to do something. And I'm usually not really a fan of that style. But I can tell a lot of effort went into this. Like the environments, like even this outro is more effort than most indie horror games out there. So I liked it. I had fun with it for what it was. And it actually tried to tell a story. So got to give credit for that. I like when small teams like this make stuff and... Oh. The summer of 58. Maybe we'll find out what happened in the summer of 2011 or something. That would be a cool, um... A few days later. Oh! Uh-huh. Wait, what? The battery is dead. And so is my series. I had to wait for the person who bought this house. But after its arrival, a few days later, something went wrong. This place has ceased to be harmless. I'm trapped here. I don't think that a woman from a shelter in Russia could get attached and follow me. Does this house have a pendulum for people like her? What if other spirits followed me? Maybe that's why I didn't find anyone in those houses. I miraculously managed to escape from that abandoned orphanage, but I'm not sure that I will be released now. We need to try to get out and warn the guy that it's dangerous to stay here. I'm going to turn around and something's going to attack me. Or not. Can I... Can I leave? Jesus, help me! There you go. Ghosts love talking into corners. I thought that was going to be credits. Whoa! She's pissed. She's really pissed. She's like, you stopped me from, well, nothing. Because here's the thing. She's already dead. She already did all the things. Everybody's still dead. I didn't solve a damn thing. <laughs> all I solved was my own curiosity in this game. And then I probably got killed for it. I told you. You mess around. You're going to get found out. Ghosts don't like that. Ghosts will haunt you. That's what they do. It's kind of their whole shtick. Anyway, that was still fun for what it was. I still enjoyed that. I like playing these types of games where you get like an hour experience and then you're in, you're out, you shake it all about. And you know, you do the hokey pokey and then you turn around. That's really what it's all about with these types of games. Hey, before we go anywhere, thank you so much for watching this video, but also thank you again to NordVPN for helping sponsor this video. They're the best. If you want to be the best as well, go to nordvpn.com slash jacksepticeye. It's down in the description as well. Go, try it out. But for this one, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in whatever we play next.